ICB-USA offers a family of data acquisition equipment that can implement control without any programming needed. The devices are configurable over a web page. They can send out email alarms based on conditions and can trigger outputs based on inputs. Today's training will include an introduction to the WISE products and will also show details about each of the different kinds of WISE products including the Modbus TCP based data acquisition type, data acquisition controllers, the cellular based GPRS wireless controllers, an expandable controller, and a data logging controller. We will go over the WISE features like how to configure them, how they work, and what they can do. We will also go over the different applications these are being used for. The WISE products support Modbus TCP and are accessible over Ethernet networks from a computer. You can use the web browser to set up if-then-else type rules through a web page. You can set up email alarms to be sent out based on conditions like when a tank reaches a certain level or when the temperature is above a certain range. You can connect different sensors and equipment to the terminal blocks of the WISE products for sensing temperature, the input from an on and off switch, or to turn on a light. The WISE 4000 GPRS controller can communicate over the cellular network so it can send SMS messages out as needed based on conditions. It has three digital inputs, three digital outputs, and eight analog inputs. In case you want to turn on a pump, that takes a digital input based on a tank level, you could connect a float sensor to one of the analog inputs. You can connect a digital output to a pump. The WISE 4000 can be configured to turn on the pump when the tank reaches a certain level. It can also be configured to send out SMS messages to appropriate personnel if the tank goes above a certain level, which could indicate there was a problem with the pump processing the water in the tank. The WISE 7900 series expansion controllers have an 80 MHz processor and an Ethernet port. They are expandable with different I.O. boards that come in different analog and digital I.O. configurations. They also have an RS-232 and RS-485 port for expandability. The WISE 7900 series support counter, timer, and email operations. They can be powered over Ethernet or with a 12 to 48 VDC power supply. The WISE 7902 expandable I.O. controller is being used for parking lot automation systems. In the application, there are sensors and lights installed on each space, which are connected to different FRNet I.O. modules. The system is configured to guide drivers to vacant parking spaces through a series of flashing lights. Since the WISE 7902 supports Modbus TCP protocol, it is connected over Ethernet cabling to a PC running SCADA software in a control room. Since the WISE 7902 supports counter functions, the system can also show how many spaces are available in the parking lot. The WISE 5800 is a data logging controller that can be used with the i7000 RS485 base modules or Modbus RTU devices like the M7000 series, TM series, or other Modbus RTU devices. It can also be used with XW expansion boards that are available in analog and digital options. It has a micro to SD card inside for data logging. You can email the logs based on a time schedule or you can use FTP to get the logs. The Y7100 series are data acquisition controllers that are configurable over a web page. They can be powered over Ethernet through a PoE switch or PoE injector. They can also be powered with 12 to 48 VDC power input. A wide range of configurations are available, like analog input with digital outputs, thermal couple inputs with digital outputs, RTD inputs, analog outputs, and more. They are like our PET 7000 series, but they have different firmware that allows control logic and email alarm rules to be configured through a web page. The WISE 7118C thermocouple input and digital output modules are being used in greenhouse automation systems. Ten analog inputs are being used to monitor the temperature and humidity. Six digital outputs are connected to various greenhouse facilities. The WISE 7118C can automatically adjust vent positions, fans, heating, shading, lighting, and irrigation based on temperature and CO2 levels. Key environmental factors that affect crop quality 
are monitored and WISE products can be used to achieve optimal levels. The information from the greenhouse system is sent back to a control center running SCADA software over Modbus TCP Ethernet cabling. This allows real-time monitoring of the overall status of the greenhouse system and allows you to make the system more efficient. WISE 7901 expandable controllers and WISE data acquisition controllers are being used in production line management systems. Conveyors and sensors are connected to WISE controllers which allow for the holdup of a conveyor for semi-finished products during the manufacturing process for further processing. When the system senses a certain phase of the production is complete, the conveyor will proceed and the operator will be notified when the system is ready for the next step in the production. The WISE controller can detect and immediately respond when an error occurs during the manufacturing process which prevents the waste of raw materials or equipment damage. The WISE products are configurable through a web page like this. There are different areas for configuration. The basic settings include setup time, IP address, and module information. The advanced settings allow you to configure channels. The rule settings allow you to set up if-then-else type logic rules. The upload module area allow you to upload the configured rules to the WISE hardware device. On the channel status page, you can see the status of different I.O. channels and internal registers. Under DI channel and DO channel, you can see whether the channels are on or off. The 1 indicates on and the 0 indicates it's off. Under AI and AO channel, you can see the status of the analog input. On the email settings page, you can set up different emails and recipients for emails that can get sent out from the WISE products. Now you're going to see the WISE introduction video followed by the WISE training video. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to introduce to you our new WISE series product line. In this presentation, first we will give you a brief introduction to all of our WISE models and their key features. Then we will show you how to edit the logic rules through the web page and how to upload the edited control logic to the WISE controllers. Since the WISE controllers support Modbus TCP protocols, we will show you a list of what information you can retrieve via the Modbus TCP interface. Finally, we will illustrate a few application examples that we hope will bring you good ideas for your own applications. We will also do some live demos to give you a general overview of uses for these products. Our company, ICP DAS, has been working on automation controllers for years. We often hear our customers say something like, if we buy a full function controller, most of the time there will be about 70% of functions we will never use, and of course we have to pay more for a full function controller. If we buy a basic type controller, it will take forever to do the tedious coding, which is really annoying. There is nothing in between. That's what WISE was made for. We want to offer a solution to help users quickly develop and deploy their automation applications without spending a lot of time and money. All configurations for WISE controllers can be done on the web page. You don't need to go to a specific location with the right software, but can work from any place. As long as you have an internet connection, set up the IP for the controllers, and make a few clicks, your automation application will be at your fingertips. The most important feature of our WISE series is you don't need to write a single line of code. What you need to do is get on the web page and make a few clicks and then you're done with your custom logic control. You don't need to install extra software tools to perform the configuration. A common browser like Internet Explorer or Firefox will work just fine. All WISE products support Modbus TCP protocol. Most SCADA software supports Modbus TCP protocol, so you can easily get most remote information from the WISE controllers in your control center with SCADA software. WISE is equipped with an if-then-else logic rule engine to run logic operations. 
The intuitive interface will lead you through all the steps to set up the rules for logic control. Even if you don't know how to code, you'll definitely get the idea in no time. Once you finish your rule edits, simply upload the rules to the controllers and the controllers will run the operations. WISE controllers support up to 12 email messages and short message services. This function allows sending email messages to related personnel under certain conditions in real time. Now let's talk about the WISE architecture. It allows users to communicate with the WISE controller from their PC via Ethernet. Once the connection is established, it enables access to the web page hosted by the embedded web server running on a WISE controller. On the web page, users can implement editing of the logic rules, upload the edited rules to the controller, and then the controller will be able to perform the tasks. The interpreter of rules that is in charge of the rule operations is what we call the if-then-else logic rule engine. The WISE controller will perform operations based on the logic control. Send commands such as receiving input data from the sensors or sending output signals to the lighting instruments. WISE also supports notification functions. When an event occurs, pre-input email messages or SMS can be sent to specific receivers for emergency notification. WISE controllers support Modbus TCP protocol for users to perform real-time monitoring and control. Users can set up a database on the back end for important data acquisition and storage. WISE offers user-friendly web pages for editing control logic. These web pages are hosted by the embedded web server running on a WISE controller. The controller is equipped with an if-then-else logic rule engine so it can interpret rules edited by the user and execute the operations. WISE controllers are equipped with I.O. channels for remote I.O. device control and data acquisition. They also support email, SMS, as well as schedule and timer control functions. Under WISE architecture, WISE controllers communicate with remote I.O. devices through I.O. channels. Users can access the web server on WISE controllers via Ethernet on their PC for editing control logic on the web page and then upload the rules to the controller. Let's examine a hypothetical situation. Let's say we have a WISE controller gathering pump temperature. Once the temperature reaches a certain preset level, the controller will automatically send out a signal to turn on a fan for cooling down the pump. If the temperature remains high, the controller will automatically send out an SMS or email to the appropriate personnel for emergency notification. It can also immediately shut down the pump for emergency reaction. WISE also offers seamless integration with back-end systems like SCADA software or OPC solutions via Modbus TCP protocol. Now I would like to give a brief introduction to the WISE series products. The first one is WISE-71XX. This series includes nine models that provide a variety of combinations of different I.O. channels. Some models are equipped with analog input channels, and some are equipped with analog input and output. Others are equipped with power relay output for specific functions. All of these models support PoE, power over Ethernet. WISE-71XX includes models supporting RTD sensors or thermocouples for reading temperature. There are models supporting power relay output as well. For further detailed information, please refer to the website or the product brochure. Now let's talk about the WISE-7901 series. WISE-7901 does not offer built-in IOs, but it supports a variety of different IO channel combinations with ICP-IO expansion boards. Users can choose the expansion board that meets their application needs. Just like the WISE-71XX series, WISE-7901 supports PoE as well. Another important feature WISE-7901 has is that it is equipped with a real-time clock IC chip, so it supports the scheduling function. WISE-7901D is equipped with a 5-digit, 7-segment LED display to show information like the IP address, web settings, and I.O. channel data. This information is essential for on-site debugging, status display, and troubleshooting. 
Here comes the third series. The WISE 4000 series are equipped with eight analog input, three digital input, and three digital output channels. They also have a real-time clock for scheduling function. WISE 4000 series also supports GPRS GSM function for SMS service. WISE 4000D is equipped with a monochrome LCD monitor to show current connections and I.O. information. Now let's talk about the WISE series software features. First, they all support I.O. functions. The WISE 71XX and WISE 4000 series have built-in I.O. channels. The WISE 7901 series support I.O. functions with add-on external I.O. expansion boards. All three series feature built-in web pages for easy defining and editing of logic rules. They all support Modbus TCP protocol for seamless integration with SCADA software. They all offer up to 36 if-then-else rules for implementing control logic. Each rule allows definition of three if conditions. You can define logical AND or OR operators between two if condition expressions. Each rule allows you to define three then actions and three else actions as well. All WISE series provide 48 internal registers. They support 12 timer groups for timing functions. They offer up to 12 email message alarms that can be sent to multiple recipients under configurable conditions. The WISE 7901 and WISE 4000 series are both equipped with a real-time clock to support scheduling functions. WISE 4000 series offer 12 SMS text message alarms for emergency notification. In this section, we will show you how the WISE series works. The operations of the WISE controller are based on the web page interface. Before we make a connection to the controller by Ethernet, we will need to know the controller's IP address. We provide a software tool called Mini OS 7 Utility. Please install this tool on your PC. It will auto-scan for all WISE controllers connected to this PC. It will automatically finish the IP settings. We will give a brief introduction here. Please refer to the manual for more detailed information. With Mini OS 7, we can find all WISE controllers that are currently connected to this PC. After searching is finished, all controllers connected will be displayed. Select the target controller and click the IP button. A window will appear for you to assign the IP to the controller. Each controller is given a default IP address. This default IP address may not be consistent with your network IP addresses. It is recommended that you set up your PC IP in the same network region of your WISE controller. Your WISE PC will find the WISE controller and then you can configure related logic control operations via Internet. In this section, we will show you how to set up the logic content through the WISE built-in interface. When successfully connected to the WISE controller, an interface like this will appear. It will show function buttons, the WISE model number, and the number of I.O. channels it has. On your first time connecting to the controller, it will take four steps to finish your logic settings. You need to finish basic settings, then advanced settings, rule settings, and then you can upload the edited rules to the controller. For basic settings, First, let's talk about the time setting, so you can adjust the time for the controller. This function only applies to modules with real-time clock functions. Ethernet setting is for IP mask and gateway settings. If you don't want your settings to be modified by unauthorized users, you can also set up a password to prevent unauthorized access. After the password has been set, Anyone who tries to upload logic rules to the controller will be asked to input the correct password before being granted access to the controller. The default password is set to be W I S E in lowercase. Module settings can be a bit more complicated. Take 71XX series product as an example. 
for different modules may come with different AI or AO channels and they may differ in range or type. Some modules may be able to read RTD measurements, some may read thermocouple measurements. Even for the most basic operations, such as voltage reading, the settings may vary. You can set the AI range to be plus or minus 1 volt or plus or minus 5 volts. You can set up different reading ranges for each channel. The WISE 7902 module will be available soon. WISE 7902 is designed for connecting with ICP-DAS FRNet modules. This module is good for applications that require large-scale deployment. Each FRNet module is equipped with up to 16 digital input or digital output channels. Each I.O. point may connect up to 8 FRNet modules, giving you up to 128 digital input and 128 digital output points. For each 7901 controller to function accurately, you will need to select the corresponding plug-in export type from the drop-down list and save the settings on this web page. In this section, we will quickly go through the advanced settings. First is the timer setting. WISE provides 12 timer groups for timing functions. Each timer can be set to count down a given time interval measured in seconds. Before this time interval runs out, it shows not timeout. And once this time interval runs out, it shows timeout. Users can include not timeout or timeout status as evaluation criteria for the if condition statements. You can specify the initial status of the timer to be stop, start, or to be triggered under specific conditions upon booting up. When the timer starts to count down, the status says, not timeout. Once the time interval runs out, the status turns to timeout. During the not timeout period, if you start the timer again, the timer will count from zero again. If you send a command to stop the timer, all logic rules related to the timer will be ignored. Next, let's take a look at the schedule settings. You can set up date, time and day of the week as preset conditions. When the time falls in the range that matches preset conditions, the related operation will be executed. And now we come to the digital input attribute setting. Digital input channels are used as counters. DI signals may face interference, so you can set a mask in the filter field to rule out interference. The time interval for the filter is the minimum duration a signal has to make a change to the counter. In the condition field, please set the trigger criteria for triggering the counter to count. There are three options for criteria, high to low, low to high, and status change. You can also set the initial value of the counter in the initial value field. Now let's take a look at the digital output channel settings. You can set the power on value to be on or off. You can also set the counter as digital input. DO supports pulse output. You can set up pulse high and pulse low for the periodic pulse cycle. The AO attribute setting page allows you to set up an initial value for the analog output channel voltage when booting up. WISE provides 48 internal registers. They can be used to hold temporary variables for your edit rules without occupying real channels. These registers can be modified via Modbus TCP. For example, you can write to internal register 01. When its value is modified from 0 to 1, it will automatically turn on lights in a building. You can set a button from the control center, so when you click on the button, the value of internal register 01 will be modified and changed to 1 to trigger the criteria of the rule related to lighting control. This function allows sending pre-input messages to preset mobile phone numbers under certain conditions. You can set up a maximum of 12 messages. Finally, we come to email setting. You can set up the IP for the SMTP server. Then enter the email account and password. Then enter the sender's name. You can send to up to five receivers. Then input the email subject and content. 